big kiss. You can't. Ah. Uh, okay, your head's coming up too high. Okay. Actually, you're not really relaxing. You want to relax your head as you get underneath, okay? Um, remember, it's elbows. Your elbows and hands don't hit the water at the same time. What you want is you want your elbows, you want your hand in first, then your elbows. You want to kick more from the hips, okay? More propulsion from the hips. You get more power from the hips, you're going to get a lot better stroke, and you're going to be able to snap through the water better and actually be able to finish your kick a little bit more. You are using your hips a little bit, okay, but the fact that your head comes straight up and you're really pushing against the water, it catches you a little bit, okay? And therefore, it's push, you're pushing against the water. You don't want to really push against the water. You want to reach all the way through, okay? Reach all the way through and finish that stroke past the hips. Okay, we're crossing over a little bit too much over on um, both sides, okay? You want to remember, 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, okay? When you cross over like that, then you wiggle a lot, okay? You don't want to wiggle so much. You want short, fast kicks, short, fast kicks all the way through, okay? And if you'll see, you, you see yourself wiggling a little bit, that's because of your crossing over, okay? Cross over a little bit more again, okay? You want to get deeper on the pole. Um, and as I showed you guys on the first day, your tight stomachs, you want tight, tight stomach, okay? So that you don't have any wiggle. Um, you're moving your head just slightly with the head, with your uh, body, and it's got to stay still the whole time. And uh, it's come a long way, though, okay? Let's keep that short, fast kick. Short, fast kicks all the way through. Go. Okay, breaststroke. Okay, you're pulling a little bit too far past your shoulders. Remember that shoulders are your line. You don't want to go beyond. You don't want to drop those elbows underneath your body. What happens when you drop your elbows underneath your body is it's real hard to press forward and you push against the water. And see how far your knees are apart on the kick? You don't want your knees to be that far apart, okay? You want them to be closer so that you can finish your kick, snap the kick together, okay? But when it's that wide, you don't get as much propulsion as a narrow kick. And if you look at all the great swimmers in, uh, in the world, the top ten, you'll see a more narrow kick as, as the successful kick for breaststroke. Okay? Keep those hands really reach forward. Don't be afraid to reach forward. But once again, look at that kick and you can see how wide it is, okay? You want to really focus on a lot narrower kick. Okay, nice high elbows, okay, you don't want the hand to go higher than your elbows, okay, and that's what's happening, especially, especially your left arm, okay, you want to kick, you want to get a more steady kick, six feet kick, six kicks for one full arm cycle, um, I want to see you pull more underneath your body, okay, and you don't want to turn your, you don't want to turn so much for the breath, okay, you just want to turn your head slightly, if you look, you have a slight hesitation at the end of your stroke, Okay, that's after every every time you take a breath. You don't want to hesitate. You want to go right into the stroke. You want to really focus on reaching and extending all the way through. Okay? You don't want to jab that hand in front of you on that breath either. You want to really stretch it out. The longer the stroke is, the better it is. The least strokes and the best, the fastest amount of time is the best thing you can do. Hope you enjoyed camp and uh, look forward to seeing you next year and around the pool.